up Guitar Legends, Sam Wilde here, we're looking at Aladdin Whole New World today. This is a really nice song, the rhythm's really easy, but there are a lot of chords, so really take your time with any of the tricky chords. Alright, so to begin with we're going to have this intro. I like to just pick through each of the bottom four strings there. And then we can come into the rhythm. Okay, so you're just gonna put your pinky against the guitar just so you have a good anchor point there. And then we're gonna go from the D string all the way to the bottom. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, four, and one. Then the second part, we're gonna play the D string, G string, E string, G string, E string, but we're going to take the middle finger away for that last note. So all together, now. For the last part, I like to just come in with the rhythm, which is just going to be down, down, up, up, down. So get your D chord ready and just practice this rhythm. We're going to use it for the whole song. Down, down, up, up, down. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down. One, two, three, four. One more time. Okay. So for the entire intro, we have a one, two, three, four. So for this part, we can actually kind of get the melody within the chords. So we're going to play G on the first down, then middle finger off for the second down. And then when we come on the up stroke, you can add the pinky. So just work on those first three strums. And then for the last up down, you can just have normal D major. So we have... Alright, then we're going to have B minor and A. So have a look at these chord diagrams. And just work on those if you need to. Alright, and then try and play this whole first line with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one. You can just do one strum for each of those. B minor and A. Then we're going to have G6 to F sharp 7. Okay, so we're going to play down, down, up, up, down. So for G6, you just need two fingers. For F sharp 7, you're going to have to do an entire bar chord here. Now to give yourself more time, you can actually start changing after the first down. And then you're ready to come up on the F sharp 7. Okay. Then once more we have B minor to A. This time we're going to do two strums. Down, 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 G, D. So for G, you can just play this normal G major shape. Right, then we do the whole verse again. Okay, we have it twice here. So just try and play the whole thing with me this time. Ready, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chorus. 
So here we're gonna have A to D and again A to D. Then the second line we have this G to D, but there's F sharp in the bass, you can use your thumb to get that F sharp. Okay. Then we have B minor to E major, which is this chord here, which is a nice little shape there. And then we have A sus for a bar. So it's just like A, but you can see the pinkies moved over to the 3rd fret on the B string. Now you'll notice in the first line here, we have a full rhythm for A, full rhythm for D, full rhythm for A, then D. We're just going to play down, down, pretty much. You can add some fillers. But when the melody is going, bum, bum, bum. There's triplets in the melody. So we can either copy the triplets or you can just play the first drum. Okay, but we can't continue that. The normal rhythm, if there's a triplet in the melody, it just sounds a little bit messy. It might throw you off. So what we can do instead for the end there. We just change to We can just play simple down strokes, right? Now when we get to the second part of this chorus, you can see that it's kind of the same But there's a few variations on the chords, right? So this time around we have This is where Jasmine sings So even on this first line, we've already got this Really cool passing chord. Alright, the B flat diminished seven here. So you can play that with this shape. So from the A shape, we're gonna do on the upstroke. You can see the pinky stayed where it was, but the other two have to move to get to that B flat uh, diminished seven, right? B minor G. For that second bar, so instead of only playing D, we have B minor, then D, right? So, I'm like a shooting star so far. then to finish, you can see we, again we have B minor to E, but then we have whole new world with you. This really cool C major chord comes in. Our system uh, mixolydian chord from D, right? So we have B minor, E, C, A. Now I'm in a whole new world with you. So make sure you're getting the rhythm right here. We have full rhythm for A, full rhythm for D, A, B flat, B minor, D, G, D, G, G, D. Minor, E, C, A, D, no. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. Now, to come into this key change, Aladdin sings over the D chord for two bars. Now I'm in a whole new world with you. And then we're going to a key change, right? So you just have to do one strum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just do one strum for each chord to keep it simple because Aladdin kind of sings off the beat, it throws you off a little bit. Now, for the key change, we're going to have F major. You can play it like this if you want to. Some of you might want to do this version or a bar chord, whatever is easiest for you, okay? And again, we can do this down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, D minor to C. All right, so this time we've got D minor, looks like this. You can use third finger or pinky. I prefer pinky. Then to C. Then we're going to have B flat to A7. 
it so, be flat, and then you just slide over with the middle and pinky finger to get to your A7 shape. All right, so down, down, up, up, down. You move on the up. Then D minor, C to B flat, to F, a whole new world. And then we come into second chord. Now for the second chord, we're gonna have C to F, C, F. Now if you want, on that uh, second C chord and third bar, you can have C, uh, E in the bass. Just to get some movement there. And then we come with F, right? And so you're gonna do that on the upstroke. It's just some movement in the bass. Okay, you don't have to do that, it's just a nice thing to add in. All right, now this bit's tricky. We have B flat, F of A in the bass, B flat, Right, there's so many chords in this part, and it's hard because <laughs> the vocals are a little bit out, of, they're not out of time, but they're, they're kind of slightly swung, slightly off the beat. So it's hard to stay in time with the music. But we have B flat, F, B flat, F, D minor, G, C11. So there's a lot going on here. So if you want to make B flat easier, you can just do the power chord version makes it easier to go into this F with A in the bass. Now F with A in the bass, it's just an F major chord, all right, but the A is in the bass, it's the lowest note, which means we don't have to have the thumb in the bass, but if you find it easy, you can just do B flat to F, B flat to F. All right, I just tend not to have the thumb because you can hear the bass is just going between B flat and A, right? The last part of this line, we have D minor, G, then you can either do C11 like this, which is quite tricky on this lower part, or you can play it like this, which is how I do it. It's kind of like a C sus4, if anything. Um, you can play it like this, but it, you, then you're missing out on the high note being that 11 note, right? So this is the shape I like to play. For the second half of the chorus, again, it's pretty much the same, but there's just a few variations, just as we did in the other key, right? So we have C to F, then C to C sharp diminished seven. Now, technically, you could play a B flat diminished seven again, because it's actually the same notes, right? So if you find that easier, by all means do that. I prefer to get the bass note movement though. So I will play C sharp diminished seven. Now you can get that open E in there, which works as well, okay? So we have down, down, up, up down, down. Now remember, you can change chord on the second down so that you're ready to come up on the chord. All right, then as you can see, we have D minor, C, and then once again, B flat to F and bass, B flat, F. And then this part's really tricky, D minor, G, E flat to C. All right, so if you're not used to doing this shape for E flat, it's quite tricky. There aren't many ways around it. You could, you could just do this shape for E flat. There's no easy way of playing E flat really, right? I tend to do this shape. But because it's so difficult, just give yourself time to change. So play D minor, then do the first strum on G, but the second strum, you can just play the middle three strings. As you're moving over, because they're in the G chord, D, G, and B, you play those for the second strum, then you can be moving G, 
major E flat. So I go. You see that I have time to change and stretch over to this E flat chord, right? So this last part goes. Let me share this whole new world with you. Then we have this nice uh, set of two bars. It's going to lead us into the outro. So we have D minor to F with C in the bass. So essentially it's just an F chord, but C is in the bass, which is a really nice chord. Before we look at the outro, let's just try and play this second chorus here, because it's so difficult. We'll add the trail off as well. Ready, one, two, one, two, three, four. outro which is B flat to F A in the bass G minus 7 F A in the bass B flat to C 11 U and F to finish just four bars finish with one strum on the last bar so this outro, we have some really nice movement. You hear that? All right, that is everything, guys. I just want to give you a quick tip for making this easier. All right, when you have to change chords really fast, especially later on in the key change, you can just do one strum per chord, so you can go. Just do as few strums as you need to do to make it easier and to give yourself time to change to the next shape. All right, you don't have to keep doing as many strums as I do. All right, it's not a big deal. Now the play along is coming up, so you can try and do the whole song with me and you'll have the rhythms up as a guide and the chord diagrams, of course. All right, so if you found this lesson helpful, please give it a like, thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon too. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Good luck with the play along. I'll see you in the next video.